Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advanced Paper 2 Physics in the year 2020 from the topic of X-rays. This was based on multiple choice correct question. Uh, uh, compared to other questions in Paper 2, I will say that this was fairly easy and very less ambiguous. So about why am I saying very less ambiguous that we will figure out very shortly. Uh, so let's see what is happening over here. Uh, this uh, in the Cooley's tube experiment, there is a cathode and there is an anode. We know that the distance between cathode and anode is d. The potential of anode is uh, v higher than that of cathode. Uh, now the filament current is decreased to half. Potential difference between cathode and anode is uh, doubled, and the distance between the uh, cathode and anode is, anode is made half. So based upon these changes, we have to talk about the change in the intensity of characteristic wave, uh, characteristic x-rays, continuous x-rays and uh, the intensity of uh, different x-rays like all the x-rays, right. So if you uh, just want to recollect the graph between the intensity and the wavelength, so we get this sort of graph, okay, and these are, you know, k alpha, k beta, this is k beta, this is k alpha and L series will also exist. So basically we can see that this, these are characteristic wavelengths and these are continuous wavelength. This is the cutoff wavelength, lambda cutoff. Okay. So if you want to recollect that lambda cutoff is nothing but HC upon EV, where EV is the energy of the highest or the fastest moving electron uh, or the most energetic electron. Let me put it like that. Okay. So if you see the changes that 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 is happening over here, we are doubling the potential difference and reducing the current filament current to half. That means if you think in terms of power, so power of the all the electron beam that is coming is still constant 2v into pi by 2. That means power of the electron beam, all the electrons that are coming, uh, that is still constant. So basically energy of all the x-rays that will be produced is going to remain constant, right? Uh, hence, we can say that uh, energy of all the x-rays are, are going to remain constant. Now, if you have decreased the value of, uh, sorry, if you have increased the value of potential difference to V, you have made it double. Hence, we can say that lambda cutoff will become half because that only depends upon potential difference. So basically, lambda cutoff will become half. So this will be new lambda cutoff. But you should remember that since we are adding up some x-rays if you see on uh, like these were the x-rays that were not emitted before so now more x-rays are like these wavelengths were not emitted before so now these wavelengths are emitted and hence the total energy will be distributed between more wavelengths can we say it like that if only uh, initially the wavelengths that were produced were only from this value to infinity and now the wavelengths that are produced is from this value to infinity Hence, we can say that the total energy remains constant, but that energy is distributed between more number of X-rays, yeah, more wavelengths. Hence, we can say that intensity of uh, earlier X-rays must go down, right? It's pretty sensible. So, intensity is going down. Characteristic wavelength, their intensity will not change, okay? Because characteristic wavelength doesn't does not depend upon the uh, energy of the incoming electron. It is the energy difference between the two shells. So basically it depends upon the target element. So it is not going to change and lambda cutoff is going to become half, right? So our answer will be cutoff wavelength is reduced, will reduce to half. Wavelength of characteristic X-rays will remain the same. So this is correct option. Cutoff wavelength as well as wavelength of the characteristic X-rays remains same. This is wrong, of course. Cutoff wavelength will reduce to half and intensity of all X-rays will decrease. This is also correct. The cutoff wavelength will become two times larger and the intensity of all x-rays will decrease. This is wrong. Now, why? So answer will be A and C. Why did I say that this slightly like, you know, uh, very, very minuscule amount of infinitesimal, infinitesimally small amount of ambiguity? The reason is that uh, some students thought that uh, it might happen that if we are decreasing the lambda cutoff, then there might be some x-rays. Yeah, there might be some characteristic x-rays which were not emitted before, they might get start getting emitted. For example, if K beta series, it was not getting emitted before. Suppose cut, cut off lambda was here. Let's say this was the lambda cutoff initially. Now, if we decrease lambda cutoff, then it might happen that this wavelength starts getting emitted. 
so in that case uh, this this definitely can be a possibility but if question says that wavelength of characteristics x rays will remain the same so i believe that the, what they want to ask is that the wavelengths that were getting earlier emitted if we are talking about that wavelengths if any new wavelength is getting emitted then there is no question of talking about being same or not because that was not something which does not exist before so we cannot comment up like it's ridiculous yeah it's useless to ask uh, say whether it remains the same or not because it is the new thing so whether something remains the same or not can be only talked about uh, if it existed in the earlier instance so i believe that uh we should talk about we should we should only consider those uh, characteristic wavelengths which were getting emitted before and those wavelengths will not get changed and hence in my opinion a and c uh, were the correct answer as reported by iit key thank you